two houses completely razed to the ground. Mid-August, an attack by Tigrayan forces of the TPLF demolished this hamlet. Several people were injured. Burhan's house is still standing, but inside everything is destroyed. Since the month of July, the war in Tigray has spread southwest into the neighboring Amhara region, where the Ethiopian Federal Army, backed by armed groups from the region, is battling Tigray rebels. I thought I wouldn't survive, but thank God we're still alive. In this house, the ceiling and the painting were very special. But now, it just looks like an old house. Burhan was having coffee with his wife and his father in this neighboring house when a shell exploded. We were sitting over there when the explosion hit. My hand was injured and I fell to the ground. My wife fell next to this chair. I'm very worried. I fear death because it almost got us this time. Women, children, everyone in the village can still hear the artillery sounds from afar. In August, TPLF forces occupied the town of Nefas Neucha and its surroundings deep within the Amhara region. They're accused of looting infrastructure and targeting allies of Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's government. This woman's husband was abducted by Tigrayan soldiers. He was a member of the ruling party and a former soldier in the Ethiopian army. His body was found near a river. After we found my husband's body, they came to find me and searched my house. Luckily, I thought of hiding my husband's uniform, because I thought they might kill me if they found his clothes. The Ethiopian army rapidly managed to take back the town from Tigrayan forces. Authorities say the TPLF has suffered several defeats in the last weeks. The local Amhara government welcomes the popular mobilization, which it says contributed to repelling the TPLF. We are quite sure that we will eliminate TPLF in the near future. Even after cleansing of uh, TPLF here in Amhara areas and Afar areas, will again come across towards to, uh, part of Ethiopia, because Tigray, Tigray is part of Ethiopia. We have to clean TPLF there, and even we are fighting for um, the freedom and the liberty of the Tigray people too. According to the regional government, half a million Amharas were displaced due to fighting. Humanitarian organizations are providing food aid, but means are not sufficient. Here in the north of the region, around 1,000 people flock every day to attend the distribution campaign. We have distributed cereals, pulse. Cereals is uh, 15 kg, 1.5. Pulse is 1.5 and uh, oil is 0.45 kg. But in, in this Warada, 6,500 beneficiaries are IDPs. The security situation is not good. Most of the people displaced from their community and come to the Warada town and uh, the problem is very serious. The distributions target the most disadvantaged families in the area. Half of them have been displaced by the conflict. Baye fled on foot a few days ago. He says TPLF forces attacked and looted his village. The sheep and the chicken are all gone. They also killed all our goats. We are left with a few potatoes they didn't take. We boil them in water and eat that to survive. Without salt, just boiled in water. These supplies will feed Baye and his five children for up to a month. They still don't know when they will be able to return. Their village, Chenna, is almost completely deserted since the massacre allegedly committed early September. Corpses are still lining the streets. The human death toll of the attack remains unclear. Under these stones, bodies have been hastily buried. According to the few people who stayed, Tigrayan rebels suffered a military defeat and targeted civilians in their retreat. These killings could constitute war crimes, crimes which the Ethiopian and Eritrean armies are also facing accusations for in Tigray. Leaders of the TPLF have rejected the allegations. When they first came, they said they wouldn't kill us, but they lied. When they had to retreat and go through again, that's when they started killing. Priest Fentai, Priest Afit, and a priest's wife were killed. Three priests were injured, and two died. Villagers were also reportedly kidnapped during the attack. Some families are still looking for their relatives and fear another deadly incursion by the TPLF. Tigrayan forces are trying to take control of strategic mountains overlooking main towns. 
and access to Sudan through the Amhara region would enable them to open a much-needed supply route.